Hey everyone, I'm Sam Clark with Crimson Education and today we're gonna to be talking about the top 10 medical schools in the United States for research specifically, according to the US News and World Report 2021 rankings. Let's do it, titles. The US News and World Report university rankings are considered to be the best in the world and this is a part of our exclusive series thanks to Crimson Education being a partner with US News and World Report and the methodology for how they rank the schools is pretty elaborate. It's considered to be the best. I'm not gonna dig into it here, but if you click one of the links below, you can check out a video in which we talk about how they rank these colleges um, as well as an article talking specifically about how they rank the medical schools. Now, there are going to be two top medical school videos because the US News and World Report has two different lists. One for the best medical schools for research and one for the best for primary care today we're talking about research. Let's do it. One quick disclaimer, even though these are the most respected university rankings in the world, um, they're not the end all be all, right? The schools on this list might not be the best medical school for you. So if you wanna find out more about what might be the best medical school for you, click one of the links below to talk to one of Crimson's academic experts. We have a whole team dedicated specifically to medical school. They know more about it than anybody and they can talk to you about what might be the best fit for you and how you can prepare to get into that school. Now let's dive into the rankings. Now this top 10 ranking actually starts with number six because there is a five-way tie for sixth place in this best medical schools for research ranking. We are starting with Washington University in St. Louis. Washington University and St. Louis Medical School has just about 470 students and they have a faculty to student ratio of less than five to one, which is one of the best things about going to this medical school. A huge pro of studying at this university is that students can really tailor their experience to what they want to study early on. First year students can already start taking electives. The hands-on experience that students at uh, Washington University in St. Louis Medical School get is also fantastic. The affiliated hospitals include St. Louis Children's Hospital and Barnes Jewish Hospital, which are some of the best in the region. Finally, students can also earn an additional master's degree in their fifth year of study if they so choose. Tied at number six is University of California, San Francisco. It's about the same size as the previous one on our list. There's about 640 enrolled and a similar faculty to student ratio of less than five to one, which is awesome. In terms of specialties, the University of California, San Francisco Medical School is ranked number one in obstet obstetrics. I'm saying that right. Obstetrics and gynecology, uh, number two in the world in surgery, number four in pediatrics, number two in psychiatry, and number two in internal medicine. It's really good and it's pretty small. It's a great choice. Also tied with number six on our list is another UC school, which is the UCLA Medical School or Geffen Medical School at UCLA. UCLA's enrollment of full-time students is a little bit larger at 730, but the faculty to student ratio is even lower, 3.9 to one. The med school curriculum at UCLA is divided into three distinct stages. The first is human biology and disease, the second is core clinical clerkship, and the third is just fourth year colleges. Medical students at UCLA can earn a combined MD-PhD um, through the Medical Scientist Training Program, or an MD-MBA through the School of Management at UCLA, one of the best in the world. One of, a, uh, one of the biggest pros of going to UCLA as a medical student is its affiliation with arguably one of the best hospitals in the Los Angeles area, which is Ronald Reagan Medical Center, directly on campus. We have a great video, a day in the life of a pre-med student at UCLA, so an undergrad, but on a pre-med track, who did a lot of work interning at Ronald Reagan Medical Center. You can check that out in one of the links below. So that's another tie for number six. Also tied for number six is Mayo Clinic School of Medicine, or Alex, located in Rochester, Minnesota. This is the smallest one on our list so far. There's only about 360 full-time enrolled students and the faculty to student ratio is 2.8 to one. So a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. The Mayo Clinic School of Medicine is the teaching arm of the Mayo Clinic. So it's based in Rochester, but students can rotate um, through all of the different locations of the Mayo Clinic, which include uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and Jacksonville, Florida. Similar to the first school on our list, there's a lot of flexibility for first and second year students who already um, pick their courses in a bit more of a flexible way. These are called selectives at the medical clinic, which are short um, student selected classes. Students at the school are required to write a scientific paper based on a research project, um, but a huge bonus of that is that 
more than 80% of those get published. They have a high, high publish rate. And our final number six school is Columbia University's medical school located in the heart of Manhattan. There are about 580 full-time students at Columbia University's School of Medicine with a faculty ratio of 3.7 to 1. A lot of high rankings at Columbia University, including number four in psychiatry, number 10 in surgery, number eight in anesthesiology, and number 15 in pediatrics.